Hey everyone, this is Mike from Edge Note 50 TV and welcome to my weekly preview show. This show comes out every Thursday. So if you're watching this show for the first time, please subscribe and hit that notification button so you can watch more of my shows every week. So today we're going to be talking about Dimitri Bivol versus Jean Pascal. The fight will be happening this Saturday, November the 24th at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City. It will be shown on HBO in the US and on Box Nation in the UK. Now this is Bivol's first event headlining, which is really good considering he's only had 14 fights. And he'll be facing a tough veteran, 36 year old in Pascal, who has only lost to the top elite guys like Bernard Hopkins, Kovalev, Karl Froch. He hasn't lost really to any B level fighters. So this is really going to be a gauge of how Bivol is and where he is in the pecking order in the light heavyweights after this fight. So before we talk about the main event, let's look at the undercard for a little bit. Now, looking at the undercard, the only name I can recognize is the heavyweight Sergio Kisman, and that's because he fought David Price on the AJ vs. Povetkin undercard. Now, other than that, I don't know too much about what's on the undercard, all these fighters. It's also difficult because on Box Nation, we don't know what fights are going to be on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to watch what's on and then whatever I see, I'm going to talk about it on Monday on the post fight review show. Now let's talk about the main event. Uh, now my prediction for the main event, I think that Dimitri Bovol is going to win this fight. So let's talk about it. So I'm going to try and keep this simple. The reason why I think that Bivol is going to win this fight is because I just think that Bivol is going to be too fast, too slick. His movement's going to be too sharp and he throws lots of combination punches and not just combination punches. He's very accurate with his shots as well. And I just think it's going to be too much for Pascal. And let's remember that Pascal, even though he's a tough veteran and he's been in some very good fights with very good elite fighters, um, he's 36 years old. So I think that he's been in lots of wars, he's been in lots of fights, and he's been fighting for a very, very long time. And I think that even though he's still, you know, a good fighter, I just don't think he's going to be fast enough to deal with Bivol. He's just younger, faster, and he's able to, you know, to deal to deal with him much more easier. Um, and I just think that it's gonna, it's not going to be a knockout. I think that's going to go 12 rounds, and it's going to go the distance. But I think that Bivol's just going to dominate most of those rounds. There might be a couple of rounds where he's just saving, conserving energy, and Pascal might nick him. But I think that overall, Bivol is going to win. Um, and I think that is going to look impressive in doing so. I'm very keen on this guy. I think he's very talented, and I think he is the real deal. And I think he'll go on and be in some very good fights with very elite fighters if he carries on this path. Um, you're seeing these young fighters now who are coming out, the amateurs, who are 14 fights in, 15 fights in, winning world titles and being very, very good. Um, you know, you're seeing it with Lomachenko, you're seeing it with um, Usyk, and now you're seeing it with this guy, Bivol. These guys are the real deal. These guys are no joke. If you ain't seen Bivol, go on Box Nation or, Box B or HBO and watch this guy. He's very good and talented, and I think he's gonna do a job on Pascal. And one more thing that I like about this fight as well is that Dream Pascal, he's a 36 year old, but he's only lost two elite fighters. He's only lost two people like Karl Froch, Bernard Hopkins, Kovalev, and um, Elelda Alvarez. He's lost to just elite fighters. He hasn't lost to B level or C level fighters. So this is a good gauge to see where Bivol is at in the light heavyweight pecking order. So um, yeah, I like this fight. This is gonna be very interesting and I wanna see how Bivol performs on the night. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that Bivol's gonna win? Do you think that Bivol's the real deal? Do you think he's just a big overhyped job? What do you guys think of this guy? Leave your comments below. If you like the show, please subscribe as I'll be posting on the regular. Anything you want me to talk about, let me know and let's talk about it.